Welcome to your Monday edition of the week ahead for financial markets. Mike Smith, Head of Client Education and Trading and Senior Analyst with you who look at what potentially could be moving markets in the next five days. So we're going to look at five market moving factors that could influence sentiment this week. Of course, it is US Jobs Week being the first week of the month, uh, culminating, of course, in the non-farm payrolls on Friday. It could be one of those sessions where good numbers could equal bad news if those numbers are too hot then it could encourage the fed to delay any further rate cuts subsequent to their expected cut in december difficult to know how the market will respond to this but whichever way you slice it risks could be high in terms of a significant price movement of course we are seeing new record highs on the major indices the s&p 500 once again on Friday, suggested that the Santa Claus rally is still in full swing and may continue. Obviously, some of this is going to be dependent on the news factors we're talking about right now. But at this stage, it looks as though not only the earnings valuations and central bank action support current levels, but market optimism remains high. China released some manufacturing data uh, suggesting that we had a slight rise to that which was expected around about 50.3 which in pmi terms indicates a very small expansion i suspect this data could be viewed as slightly disappointing uh, and may encourage the need for more stimulus if we look at copper you can see here this Copper price has been in a fairly tight trading range over the last week and a half. We've got two clear lines in the sun, one, to, one at about 417 to the upside and about 413 to the downside with key levels above and below. Be interesting to see what the price action is like throughout Monday, particularly when the LME opens in the European session. Also in the commodity front, we've got the OPEC Plus meeting, which continues. And of course, oil price once again showed weakness during the course of last week uh, you can see here just a drift downwards throughout the back end of the week after that big drop on monday suggesting a test of this support at around about 67 70 could be on the cards which has been tested three times in the last three months if we do breach that we could tackle september's lows and if we're looking at a weekly chart you can see that would be very technically significant, pushing us possibly down to levels not seen for at least 15 months. Uh, so the sweet spot for OPEC is probably somewhere between 70 and 75. So it wouldn't be surprising that not only the, they reinforce the production cuts they've already got planned for 2025, but may even decide to increase further. And finally, of course, uh, Bitcoin 100,000 is still very much on the cards. That psychologically important level is ever closer on the back of last week's price action. Let's have a quick look at a chart. And you can see there for most of last week, we were in uptrend. And there's that crucial 100,000 mark, which was almost tested around about two weeks ago. So it's a case of does this momentum continue following this brief retracement to push up and challenge that key level so those are your five things to watch for this week of course don't miss our daily live market updates and charts of the day at 12 30 and our inner circle session which happens every wednesday at 8 p.m this week we're looking at the key components of technical analysis and what errors most traders make that you can potentially avoid remember of course we're always here for you if you need support and we look forward to serving you through the week trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now